Great question. Everything. I think so much has changed. I think there was so much fear in the market early in 2020 uh, and just the way that that has really flipped on its head in the past 12 months. Everything from the ability to buy under market value basically being obsolete now. Um, the way that a price guide is now simply a guide but there is a very high likelihood that you will be paying above that guide and well above it. Um, you know, rental vacancies are extremely low in all of these places that we are buying. Um, you know, buyer demand is so incredibly high. You don't have the luxury of time anymore in these markets. So, you know, to be able to rely on a professional, put your trust in them, and for them to really be on your team to be able to execute extremely quickly is what's required in these markets. Where it, we, it is, it's such a dynamic space now in contrast to 12 months ago even, you know, without two years, 12 months yeah. since COVID sort of started, it's just been such, uh, you know, a, a volatile sort of concoction of interest rate reductions. We've got government stimulus, you know, where government are really assisting first home buyers to get into the marketplace. And then we've got the downsizers who have predominantly been driving the prices where investors, because they have been fearful since COVID and not wanting to put their money at risk, have been sitting on the sidelines. So it's the combination of, of, of low supply, you know, extremely low supply, and that continues today. Um, you know, the demand through the government stimulus, uh, with government supporting first home buyers and downsizers, etc. Reduction in stamp duty in certain areas of Australia to 25% in Victoria, as an example, but it's all driving prices. And when there's that lack of supply, it's organically just going to increase. Mm. And we have a significant undersupply of dwellings here in Australia, and that's going to continue over the next decade as well. Mm. So it's been a, yeah, a, a really interesting time how the market has shifted you know, from that being able to negotiate something very heavily under market value mm. with the right terms to access the property and, and get these sort of advantages to the point now of actually competing with everybody else in the marketplace. So how can we differentiate you to not play that game, but play a different game where we can at least get access to opportunity to review and negotiate prior to you know, the acquisition process. And understanding true value as well. You know, we talk about the price guide and talk about you know, the demand of pushing prices up. So where exactly is the real value? You know, are they inflated currently? Is that the new normal? And where exactly do we tap out and say that now you're paying too much? It all comes down to a, a lot of research yeah, for sure. And being on the ground to be able to ascertain, you know, where that value sits based on what's actually happening in that market. So the activity localised to that market.